For the last four centuries, this very grand and very British ceremony has marked one of the highest accolades in the legal profession. And for Kate Blackwell, it's the proudest day of her life. I'm thrilled to have had this recognition and to be able to receive this honour. After 18 years working as a criminal barrister, she's about to be appointed to the prestigious position of Queen's Counsel, or QC. I, Catherine Elizabeth Blackwell, do so solemnly declare. Lawyers who reach this very senior position are commonly known as silks, a reference to the gowns the position entitles them to wear. And the intense competition it takes to get here is brought vividly to life in the BBC One drama Silk, which centres on Martha, an ambitious lawyer trying to get on in a profession still dominated by men. Proper women at the bar need to stick together. CW. Martha Costello. Oh, you're for Brendan Kay. I'm prosecuting you. They call you Lady Macbeth. Do you know that? Don't say that name in here. I thought that was only actors in theatres. What do you think this is? Who do you think we are? Now, obviously, the TV series is a piece of fiction, but it is based very much on real life, where the work of silks has a huge impact on the whole of the British legal system. So, should we be worried that less barristers are now applying for this high-status position? And what impact will that have on the rest of us? Just 88 QCs were appointed this year, the lowest number since 2008, and only a quarter of them were women. Despite significant efforts to appoint more women, they still only account for 10% of all QCs. I heard you speak. Did you hear me? Kate's juggled life at the criminal bar with having four young children. How tough has it been to be a mother and excel in the law profession? I'm lucky enough to have a very good support network and um, my mother is in incredible. My chambers have always been very supportive of, of all of the women in chambers and particularly those who are mothers. But Kate realises that not all women are quite so lucky. I think what we're suffering at the moment is a hangover from a male-dominated profession as it was 10, 20 years ago. And QCs d do tend to work away from home a lot more than junior barristers. So to that extent, there may be sacrifices that have to be made. And it's not just by women. Some barristers blame the fact that less people are applying to become QC on wider issues at the criminal bar. In particular, that achieving silk no longer guarantees being given the most serious and potentially lucrative criminal cases like murder. Now you may think, so what? I'm not a lawyer, this doesn't affect me. But if the very best lawyers in this country can't put their expertise into practice, could that have implications for all of us? The Criminal Bar Association thinks it does. People need to understand that it's the barristers who spend all of their working lives gathering the skills to act for people in court. It doesn't take much in terms of slippage of quality before things go drastically wrong. Viewers might be sitting at home watching this and thinking it's just rich lawyers moaning that they're no longer going to get these huge paydays. We aren't the rich lawyers. But there are some lawyers who are making a very, very good living from the legal aid system as it stands today, aren't they? They are a tiny number at the very top of the criminal bar. It seems even for barristers, crime doesn't pay, at least not in the first part of your career, which is why some talented lawyers feel driven out of the profession, a trend which they fear could even lead to miscarriages of justice. I know that many young criminal barristers are considering doing other areas of work in addition to or separate from criminal work. They're moving into regulatory work, they're moving into mediation, uh, and so people are diversifying away from crime. And the more talent and experience that leaks out of the profession, the greater the likelihood that the uh, guilty will walk free and the innocent will be convicted. Despite the issues at the criminal bar, Kate's understandably excited at becoming part of this prestigious group of barristers at the very top of their game. What did that mean to you getting that today? It was fantastic. Um, it was very interesting to hear um, Ken Clark's description of the award of the Queen's Council as, as being real honour and um, a mark of achievement. 